relaxing and turn up checking while we wait for it to get dark and then it's scorpion time. Testing audio one more time. Thank you to Mish8888 for the follow.
this month I'd love to know. I can't seem to fish anything new up. Sharon Wiggy, let me go open up my island. I've never streamed and had the game in online mode at the same time. Hopefully the stream ISNT lagging too much. I'm doing well, I've been working my way through a 100% playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 2 off stream that's been going well.
My island fruit is peaches by the way, take as many as you like. It's no trouble really. I've seen so far my favorite is Eugene. This is my first Animal Crossing game, so I haven't met a lot of the other villagers before.
going pretty good. I'm fortunate enough that my day job lets me work from home. I've had to work some pretty long hours recently, but I think that's settling down now. of the wild and super mario out of here both amazing if you're looking for games on the cheaper side hollow knight is probably the best indie game to come out in a while as well
No, I think I am good for now. Thank you for the bells again. And thank you for the follow. Right now I'm just trying to get my house fully upgraded and fill out the museum as much as possible. Red has only come twice for me so far. I hope the raid he shows up is listed in a patch. It was almost two weeks from his first visit to his second and now it's almost been a week since that second visit. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Shevra is probably my second favorite villager. before Easter, so about a month. I can give you a quick tour. The room to the right is brand new as of today, so I haven't had the chance to decorate it yet. I tried to make this sort of like an office space, I put the sewing machine here cause my girlfriend likes to sew and she was helping me decorate it, I like the stove cause it's the closest thing I have to a fireplace.
This back room is where I put all the Easter stuff up, but now I don't know what to do with the space, so I just leave it here. I like the idea of it but the fact that I was having to do it at the same time as all the early game stuff was annoying. I think the idea of an event forcing you to gather resources is a good idea once more players are past the point of needing to gather their resources every day.
All good, the only thing you might be missed is I said it would be a good idea to do another resource gathering event much later in the game's lifetime when more players don't really need to gather resources. I think it's time to head for a mystery island and see if we can make scorpions show up.
Since there are trees here, it's not a mystery island, that's all scorpions. But let's see if the trip it used to work for tarantulas works for scorpions too. If I pick all the flowers and chop down all the trees, I think scorpions will start spawning. I've also generally had more luck finding rare fish on mystery islands, but that might just be random chance. I'm saving it for last after I've chopped everything down.
If you neglect them long enough, they'll be walking around with a thinking cloud above their head. If you talk to them, they'll mention wanting to move away and you can either encourage them to 